Welcome to I on Plainsboro. My name is Anthony Kanker. I'm the Township Administrator for Plainsboro. Today we'll be talking to Mayor Peter Cantu and the Township Committee about accomplishments in 2020 and some goals we hope to achieve in 2021. Usually these accomplishments and coming year goals are discussed in the first meeting of the year, which is called our reorganization meeting. But because of COVID precautions, we decided to change it and do individual interviews with our mayor and township committee. To start our discussion today and give an overview of the challenges and responses we faced last year and the goals is our mayor, mayor Peter Cantu. Mayor, thank you for joining us today. Anthony, thank you. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, this, uh, we had a reorganization meeting on January 4th. At that reorganization meeting, I was sworn in for my 16th three-year term on Township Committee and my 41st year as mayor. Uh, and I mentioned at that time that this is probably, of all those 41 years, this was probably the most unique year that I ex I've experienced as far as the uh, township is concerned. I think we, we faced a number of challenges as a result of the pandemic. And basically, there was a lot of focus on over the past year on meeting those challenges. They fell in a number of areas. They fell from a standpoint of impacts on our finances, impacts on our organization and operation, and impacts socially on our residents. So there was a lot to this, a, there was a lot of challenges that we had. And uh, I also mentioned at that time that I was never prouder of the response that the township, uh, not just the township, but every element of the township, residents, uh, employees, staff, volunteers, and officials have provided in meeting those challenges. Thank you, May. Do you want to just tell us a little bit more about the, the, the who and the how we responded and the level of service that you think we, we provided? Well, as you mentioned, uh, we decided to make a change this year. Normally, uh, in that reorganization, I would be... Uh, Giving a pre I would have given a presentation on what uh, accomplishments he's had during the uh, previous year and what challenges we had for the coming year. Uh, because it, it, of those uh, challenges that we had, and I think a need to uh, expand on the reports, we decided to do it a little bit differently and that I would talk kind of generally at the beginning and then have each one of our township committee folks talk about their individual areas of oversight and give, you, give a more detailed update on the accomplishments and challenges for the coming year. So that's how we're proceeding. I would like it though, as I, as I mentioned, to recognize all of the folks that have uh, allowed us to maintain a high level of service in the community. And I'm just gonna give a couple of examples. You're gonna be hearing a lot more about this as our other township committee, my fellow township committee folks give their reports. You know, and I, when I look at it, and I look at uh, the, uh, some of the areas, for instance, our police responding to the need to provide uh, food deliveries uh, for our food bank. Some 2,400 deliveries, more than 2,400 deliveries to date have been done by our police department. And this is just one small example of the public safety responses that, that, that spans every area our rescue squad, our, our police, our fire department, all of them have been challenged and all of them have met those challenges. In addition, our organizations here within the community, our service organizations, you know, one of the, the real impacts of this, uh, this uh, pandemic has been on the resident community in Plainsboro. They, they have been impacted because they no longer have the freedom of movement, no longer have the freedom to gather so as a result of that, many of the programs that we offered uh, really had to be altered. And I, I give a lot of credit to our recreation department and other departments for stepping to the line, making alterations so that people can, uh, if they can't participate in person because of the pandemic, are able to participate virtually and modifying programs to adapt to those changes. So that's really been significant. In addition to that, I'd also like to, uh, comment and congratulate our resident community. Uh, one of the challenges that every community faces, we face across the country in responding to this is adherence to guidelines. 
I, I travel the community frequently and, and notice that, uh, that basically our resident population has been remarkably uh, adherent to those guidelines. I see people wearing masks. I see people making a, an effort to socially distance when they have to be out in the public. So I, I, I give my, my hats off to the resident community and also one of the communities that's not mentioned very often, but is a real asset to Plainsboro is our business community. And I was just delighted when I got the report just a week or so ago about our tax collection rate here in Plainsboro. Many of those businesses I know are struggling, but this year our tax collection rate has been higher than it's been for the past three years. And that tax, the tax collection rate, by the way, ranks among the highest in the state of New Jersey. Those are very important uh, figures for us to maintain stability, financial stability, and a, a real uh, uh, credit goes to our business community. Now, I've just touched on a few areas. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a, a bunch more, so I don't want anybody to assume that I'm singling out these. They're going to be reported on by our uh, fellow, my fellow township committee folks in detail. But these type of examples, really, you can find in every area of the community be it our staff, be it our employees, be it the residents, be it the business community, or be it our volunteers. So every one of them, you're gonna hear stories about how they've responded and really put us in a position to maintain this community and provide the services at an outstanding level for Plainsboro Township. Thank you, Mayor. I know that you and the committee talked frequently about minimizing any negative impact to township operations. And, and the township was committed to make sure that there were no negative impacts to operations. You wanna talk a minute about that? Yeah, I think I, think I, I would like to talk a little <laughs> bit about that because when, when we've all experienced, we've always watched the challenges that we had as, as the conditions required a shutdown of facilities, required a modification in operations. And I think the response has truly been outstanding. There's been an effort made apart, across the board uh, by by the, the employees, by staff, to ensure that we maintained access to uh, to township operations. That, that in, in many cases, they've been restricted somewhat, but in all cases, the attempt has been made to continue some type of normal access to, uh, to, to functions, functions like our clerk's office, functions like our administrative offices, our planning offices, those types of things. We've attempted to, in all cases, maintain adherence to the guidelines that have been issued, but at the same time to work to try to ensure that to the greatest extent possible, there was a normalization, uh, not a normalization, but certainly an address to, uh, to those uh, issues uh, going forward. And in your opinion, how, how do you feel about how well we've done meeting those challenges of that you know, I, I, as you know, I, I take a lot of pride in Plainsboro Township. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I truly believe and I think we've been recognized as one of the best towns in the state of New Jersey. And I talk about that frequently. And I talk about some of the areas that uh, I think we excel in. One of those is the, the provision of a diversity of housing opportunities. During this past year, and you know, we didn't stop. Uh, basically, that, that those housing opportunities have continued to grow. In fact, we're, they're expanding. We're gonna see additional housing opportunities for our population and people in Plainsboro Township. In addition, I speak frequently about the per preservation of open space. And that's, uh, that's as, as will be mentioned later, I think, uh, that we've been successful in preserving over 50% of our community in permanent open space. But we're expanding on programs within that open space, recreational programs this past year. We're, we're actually going to, we're actually in a process of planning and implementing new walking trails on an area of the community where they hadn't existed before, which I'm excited about. So we haven't stopped. We haven't stopped in any of these areas. As far as our financial uh, performance is concerned, we're going to continue to be challenged. But the fact that it matters, we've been able for during this past year to maintain the lowest municipal tax rate in Middlesex County and maintain a AAA bond rating which is the highest bond rating you can achieve. So all of those I think are reflective of the efforts that were made during very trying and challenging year. We also, uh, I would mention the fact that we have an outstanding business community, which we're very proud of. 
that community continues to expand. In fact, there's been, and you'll be hearing about it later, some detailed proposals for what is an exciting mixed use development in Plainsboro Township. Further, uh, we have, uh, and I'm very proud of this, we have a growing and significant, uh, we are a growing and significant center for healthcare services. The centerpiece of that obviously is a state of the art hospital. That's uh, that uh, hospital and the uh, has responded and stepped up to the challenges they have. But in addition to that, we can, we're continuing to expand those health healthcare facilities. And you'll be hearing more about that uh, from my, my fellow township committee folks. Additionally, I would close uh, that those comments about how we measure our success by saying that in my, in my belief, every one of the areas that we take pride in, every one of the areas that make Plainsboro a top community to live, work, and raise a family, we've continued to move forward on, even in light of the challenges that we face during the year. So I'm very proud of the performance. I'm very proud of the folks that have made it happen. Thank you, Mayor. On a final note, before we move on to the other Township Committee members, do you want to leave the audience with any final thoughts? I guess the final thought that I'd want to leave them with is that I want to all come together again this time next year. And in order to do that, while there's light at the end of the tunnel with regard to this pandemic, it's con it continues to be so important that the residents of the community and all folks here uh, maintain adherence to the guidelines that have been issued. There we will be seeing expanded opportunities for vaccine but those that still required that we adhere to those, uh, those guidelines. And, and I would encourage the, the, uh, our, all of our residents to continue to adhere to those guidelines. Additionally, I would also encourage our residents to take advantage and stay informed with regard to the changing guidelines and availability of vaccines. And the best source for that is our township website. So avail yourself of that opportunity uh, and stay healthy, stay informed, and I look forward to seeing you all again next year and having a, a, a great meeting and a great town to talk about. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, for your time today and also your service to the community. Thank you. All right, now joining us is Neil Lewis, our Deputy Mayor. He is also liaison for Public Safety and the Environmental Advisory Committee. Welcome, Neil. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, I'm Deputy Mayor Neil Lewis, and I've been on the Township Committee team since 1995. 2020 has been an extraordinarily challenging year for us all, especially in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, but I can assure you that your Township's emergency services have continued to be effective and responsive thanks to the outstanding and dedicated efforts of our fine police department our fire services under the Plainsboro Fire District with their exceptional service from paid firefighters, as well as their uh, un outstanding work from their volunteer Plainsboro Fire Company. And we also are lucky to have the exceptional emergency medical services available to us in Plainsboro by our paid township EMTs and the tireless work of a volunteer Plainsboro Rescue Squad, which has been able to literally respond to thousands of calls during 2020 to make sure that we remain safe and protected in our community. In 2020, the police department was able to hire four new police officers to bring us up to full, uh, full strength, uh, 37 uh, sworn police officers. And we also have associated with our department, the eight class three special officers that work with the West Windsor Plainsboro School District. We've been able to continue with an ongoing strategic planning by the police department, which also has included enhanced department professional standards training and early warning intervention systems that allow us to respond in a professional and courteous way to the community at large. It'll probably be of interest to know that we are in the midst of continuing to upgrade body cams. Plainsboro was one of the first communities in the state and all of our police officers do have body cams and our cars all have recording VCR devices. And once again, Plainsboro was among one of the earliest in the state of New Jersey to implement these things. We've been engaging with residents and neighborhoods on home safety programs, and these can be arranged by local communities in the future if they so choose. The 
Police Department has been able to provide special agency training with regard to diversity and inclusion. We've been assisting individuals with disabilities, working on special de-escalation of tense situations, working with children in various types of situations, and also a special training with regard to the use of force. So the training program is paramount. We are currently certified by the New Jersey Police Chiefs Association, and future, future expectations are that this will continue as we go through the next certification process. We've developed and implemented a critical response plan at the workplace for our township employees, and we've completed a comprehensive safety audit and repair recommendation for all of the roadways throughout the town. And I'm sure many people have noticed how much work has been ongoing during the 2020 period in conjunction with our police department and our public works department. In the environmental areas, we've been able to integrate hybrid vehicles, not only into the police department, but other departments in town as well. We've had the installation of electric charging stations, which has been a, another plus for both the community at large as well as new uh, hybrid vehicles that we are using in the township. The police department also has been uh, very, very involved in working with the recreation department in delivering and distributing more than 2,400 meals to seniors and residents in need. And 2020 has been a major year for the food uh, for the food pantry, which has been providing assistance to many people in the midst of the uh, pandemic and the economic impacts for so many people. This is part of what we've been doing. Uh, the Environmental Advisory Committee is a volunteer organization which is involved in our planning process in Plainsboro, and they're involved in all aspects of uh, pre-review before projects get to the planning board in order to ensure that there is sound environmental planning for our carefully developed community. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Uh, as we both agree, there were many challenges, but also many accomplishments. Do you wanna talk briefly about what you hope some goals might be that we accomplish in 2021? Well, during 2021, the police are hoping to continue to implement policies that can result in the best possible services to the community. This is not going to include maintaining their status as a certified police department uh, with all of the programs that are currently involved with it. Environmentally, we will continue to work on our sustainable New Jersey designation, which has allowed us to continue to increase our credits with regard to being environmentally sensitive. And one of the things that we've done as a community at large, and this will continue through 2021, is the implementation of an electric bundling program, which allows us to acquire energy, uh, usually at lower cost. Last year, there was substantial saving for uh, our community, but this allows us to obtain energy, which is more than 40% sustainable energy as part of a, a total dedication to uh, a way in which we can contribute to our safer and a more healthy environment. We'll continue to work with Middlesex County and the state of New Jersey with regard to wastewater management and also with our preservation program. And this has made it possible for Plainsboro through the years to have over half of our total land mass part of a permanent preservation open space program. So these are areas where we look to continue with a, a success and a good recognition for our township, which has year after year have been recognized as one of the best in the state of New Jersey. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Is there anything you want to say in closing before we sign off? Well, certainly uh, what I would say is that I would wish everyone a happy and safe 2021. I would encourage people to continue to wear masks for their own safety as well as for the safety of others around them, whether or not you have access to vaccinations right now. And please check with the website for the township, www.plainsboronj.com, for updated information. We have a special COVID-19 section, which has announcements, which has messages, and links to various agencies and organizations connected to the state of New Jersey and Middlesex County, which will have information that you can go to, as well as to our other emergency service groups. So uh, do wish everyone a happy new year. Thank you for joining us today, Deputy Mayor. Take care and be safe. Thank you. Now I'm joined with David Bander, who's our Township Committee member.
He's also a liaison to Public Works Department and Open Space. David, welcome. Thank you. We're going to talk a little bit today about what you think from where you sit as a liaison, what your 2020 accomplishments were, and then what you hope to achieve in, in 2021. Sure. Well, uh, first of all, Happy New Year. I hope Thank everyone you. had a nice um, break during the holidays and uh, is enjoying the new year. Um, for me, the important thing about 2020 was that we uh, that we survived the pandemic as, as a community, um, that uh, this is by far the uh, greatest challenge I think that that uh, any of us have have faced certainly that I faced in my uh, eight years. Now I'm going on eight years on township committee. Um, it's just uh, unimaginable um, what uh, people have endured over the last um, 11 months, 12 months. Um, and so that, you know, when, when I look back at, at 2020, that's the thing that uh, strikes me the most is that, um, is that we uh, stayed together as a community, stayed united as, as, as a community. Um, I thought that the, um, the spirit and the, the resolve of the Plainsboro residents was remarkable. Um, and that's really um, the thing that I'll remember about 2020. I mean, the, um, some of the municipal things that I, that I think of are, we didn't have to lay anybody off in town uh, because of the careful planning um, and and uh, fiscal management that uh, the Township Committee has uh, always engaged in and under Mayor Cantu's leadership. Um, and so, uh, you know, un unlike a number of other towns, we were able to to keep all of our staff on and I'm, I'm very proud of that. Um, so in some of the particular areas that, that I uh, am responsible for, I mean, one of the charms of Plainsboro is the natural beauty of the town. Um, and as the liaison to the Public Works Department, that is an area that uh, I'm responsible for. And um, a lot of the things that we did in 2020 uh, were to, to keep the town looking as beautiful as it does. So, um, you know, uh, uh, restoring some of the, um, uh, the features in our uh, municipal parks, um, the in the Plainsboro Preserve, uh, which is a uh, um, a preserve that uh, we're very proud of, we uh, made some major renovations to the Rush Holt Environmental Center. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know a lot of I've spoken to a lot of residents that, in particular, have taken advantage of to, to walk the preserve during the pandemic. So we're we're very proud about about that. Um, but yeah, the those are the the the, the main things that I that I think of. Um, in terms of a public works perspective from 2020. I, th I think the winter was fairly light, uh, so we did not have a lot of um, snow or sleet events um, in the, the winter of 2019-2020. So I, I mostly think of 2020 as um, keeping the, the natural beauty of, of Plainsboro intact. Um, but like I said, mostly what I think about is the spirit of unity uh, that we shared throughout the pandemic, and um, just just what a year it's been, and I'm I'm so thankful it's over, and that the the light is at the end of the tunnel. Yes, I agree. What are you looking forward to in this year, 2021, as far as maybe some um, big um, goals? Uh, in 2021, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, everyone becoming vaccinated as soon as possible, and. Mm -hmm. uh, putting this uh, incredible pandemic behind us. Um, that is uh, certainly the thing I'm, I'm most focused on, but uh, I, I think it's a, a, a continuation of some of the, the themes that, that I've already talked about, making sure that um, the, the natural charms of Plainsboro uh, remain charming, um, that we, we continue to uh, improve our parks, um, to continue to, uh, improve the Plainsboro Preserve, um, and generally just to ensure that the town retains its, its natural beauty. That's mostly what I'm looking forward to uh, in the coming year. Well, I wanna thank you today for being available to talk to us, and we look forward to seeing you again around town. Thank you very much, Community Bander. My pleasure, thank you very much.
Hi, now I'm here with Ed Yates, committee member, who's also the liaison for the planning department, the code enforcement department, and the historical society, which includes the Wyckoff House. Hello, Ed. Hi, Anthony, how are you today? Good. Why don't you give us a little perspective about the year 2020 and what you're looking forward to in the year 2021? Well, obviously, Anthony, 2020 was a very challenging year, and I hope everyone is healthy and safe and continues to stay healthy and safe. Uh, but you know, the township had some, you know, some tough times going with the municipal building being closed, but staff stepped up to the plate. Uh, the 11th hour, we got every, all our meetings virtual. So congratulations goes to all our staff to be able to do that and continue to serve our residents. Some of the things that we accomplished in, in, in 2020, we had the nurseries project do a general development plan, which is known as the GDP. And that general development plan includes a mixed use facility. It's the old nurseries projects, by the way, over on the other side of Route 1. Uh, it's a mixed use concept, but over 109 acres, it has some mixed use of residential, some retail sales, offices, a hotel, and possibly a movie theater that's going to go over there, boutique type of movie theater. Uh, there are also areas developed for passive and active recreation, and that's just on the other side of Route 1. That's one of the major accomplishments we got done. It took a lot of work by staff and outside consultants and in collaboration with the uh, Princeton University. So that, that's a big accomplishment that we uh, were able to achieve in 2020. Also, there's a piece of ground that the township owes on Dye Road, owns on Dye Road. It's about 20 acres. That was a subject of a redevelopment plan this year that the planning board suggested to the township committee that we put this into redevelopment. That went through the process and it was approved and now it's out for an age-restricted housing development. And I believe the number would be around 95 units for age-restricted housing. Um, that's one of our other major developments. Also, staff has worked on redesigning Mill Pond Park entrance and also the Bulk Farm, which most people aren't aware of yet because that hasn't opened. Mm -hmm. The Bulk Farm is on Cranberry Neck Road. It's a piece of ground we acquired several years ago. We had to do some re, uh, environmental remediation there uh, due to some of the chemicals that farmers had used over the years. Uh, that's getting ready to be developed as a uh, passive recreation trail. It backs up to the Millstone River. So staff has been working on that redesign also this year. So those are the accomplishments that we've had, the major accomplishments we've had in 2020. Also with the difficulty of COVID and people being able to come into the building, it was difficult to the code enforcement to do building permits and inspections. But in spite of that, they were pretty busy. They had over 6,000 uh, inspections, 2,000 construction permits. Uh, they did 600 and plus inspections and 400, 400 plus reinspections um, and performed 2,091 housing inspections in the housing division. So despite COVID, they were able to work through the issues and be able to uh, service our residents for their needs and permits and inspections, whether it was an, uh, an improvement they were doing on the home or possibly selling the home or buying a home, and they were able to be able to uh, get that accomplished, even with the uh, effects of COVID and, and what had uh, caused the uh, township to close the municipal building for several months. But everybody stepped, stepped up and did an excellent job, and uh, I'm sure the residents are happy that uh, things went pretty normal despite the challenges of 2020. So from where you sit as liaison for those areas, it sounds like you were productive and accomplished a lot. It, we, staff did. Uh, you know, I, I, I just oversee it, but the, the hard work is by staff and the consultants. It's, you know, I, I just oversee it. I don't, I don't get to take credit for that. That's, mm -hmm. that's the employees and the staff that do all the hard work. So yes, they right. did accomplish a lot and then they deserve my thanks and, and all the residents thanks for the hard work that they did. And you have to understand too with COVID when they were coming in, they were putting themselves at risk to serve our residents. So, you know, they, they you know, the residents see some of our staff at their end, thank them for their hard work. Great, Ed. So what are you looking forward to this year, 2021? Well, 2021, you know, it's, it's, there's a couple of projects brewing uh, out there that are a little early to speak about at this point. But some of the things we're looking for, some of the things I mentioned that we accomplished in 2020 to continue those. The Mill Pond Park, we'd like to see those improvements take place. It's going to include a kayak launch ramp, some new trails, a new entrance to the park. So excited about that. Really excited about the bulk farm. And now that uh, we've got the remediation done there and the designs have 
being completed. We're going to have some new walking trails, some passive recreation. recreation. It'll be similar to uh, the Plainsville Preserve, only on a smaller scale. And then there's a lot of woodlands there. It backs up to the Millstone River. So, you know, it, it's, it's a nice piece of ground that I think people will enjoy the passive recreation there. So those are some of the accomplishments that we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for the completion of the Die Road project and getting those 90 plus units online for additional housing for you know, our, our senior citizens in town and maybe attract senior citizens from other areas. So those are the accomplishments we're looking for for 2021. Great. Is there anything else you want to say before we sign off? No, I, I just, you know, it's my pleasure and honor to serve the community. They've been doing it for close to 23 years now. And uh, I just enjoy it. And I think, uh, you know, it's nice to work with staff. We have a great staff. We believe we have the best staff in the, in the state of New Jersey. And mm -hmm. it's headed up by you, Anthony. And I appreciate all your hard work and, and all the department heads. They do a great job. So that's, that's what I'd like to thank our people for. All right. Thank you, committee member. And thank you for taking the time today. And thanks for your service over the last couple of decades. Yeah. And I'd just like to tell our residents, stick with the CDC guidelines, wear the mask, social distance, lights at, you know, we see light at the end of the tunnel with the vaccinations. And hopefully in a couple of months, we can get back to normal. But in the meantime, stay safe and follow all the CDC guidelines. Thank you and be safe. Take care, Ed. You do it. Bye-bye. Today, I'm joined by Nora Nobby, who's a Plainsboro Township Committee member, who has liaison responsibilities with the Recreation Department and the Municipal Court. Nora, and welcome to Ion Plainsboro. Thank you. Why don't you tell us from where you sit what you think some of the accomplishments were last year in 2020? Greetings to everybody. As we are uh, facing the COVID pandemic, uh, we had to adjust our programs according to the guidelines of CDC. And in our department, uh, Plainsboro Recreation and Human Assistance, all the programs were interactive in person. So we have to adjust those things according to social distancing, masks, and virtual um, uh, programs. And to maintain social distancing, we deploy ambassador for social distancing in the park, in the museum, and also some of the program we conducted uh, through virtual, uh, virtual all the way. And also some programs were high hybrid, as for example, in person, as well as some part uh, with, uh, video, with the video conference or virtual conference. We had Aaron's, um, the uh, drive-in movies and other programs. So in other words, we did not postpone or cancel any program. We conducted in a, in a new norm and with social distancing and other safety because safety is our first priority. So, so we conducted everything with limited <clears throat> uh, way because of this pandemic and in uh, next year or this year, 2021, uh, we will continue those things, uh, those programs uh, in in new normal way, and also introduce some new programs like, you know, this uh, third grade students visit to the museum, and uh, also uh, uh, the the special programs for the special need people children and, 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 and adults. So uh, we'll try to improve uh, the, uh, the program's uh, services based on the situation of the COVID-19 uh, situation. Uh, hopefully uh, vaccine is coming, so hopefully we'll get back to normal life. So I wish all the residents uh, the safe, safe and uh, healthy life. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Noren. I know a lot of people have discovered the Plainsboro Preserve because they're able to get out and walk. And I suspect some of your neighbors and yourself might have had an opportunity to, to observe nature out there as a result of limited places you well, can I, go. I, I, I missed that. I wanted to tell. So can I say? Please, this? yes. Yeah, okay. And uh, I, I'd like to mention about our services, Plainsboro Preserve. Uh, we did not 
postponed the program, but we continued and we um, deployed a social ambassador, a social distancing ambassador there also. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll continue uh, this program because this is a gateway for the children and, and uh, other citizens uh, to enjoy the place for preserve uh, facilities and life. And I know not too long ago, you had talked about at a township committee meeting that uh, you were going to work with or at least um, be aware of a, an infomercial commercial that uh, the recreation is going to recreation department is going to sponsor to let the community know more about all the great programs that they're going to be doing. Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, <clears throat> in, in 2021, one of our em emphasis will be introduced in for Marshall uh, to uh, and make awareness about our programs and uh, everything uh, uh, in our township and also we'll welcome the feedback from our uh, township people, especially to those who uh, uh, immigrate to this town and those who are new residents. So we would like to and make them aware about our uh, existence program and future program. Great. I appreciate your time today. I, um, I know you enjoy your time as a committee member. Um, how long have you been with the township committee? I have been uh, on this committee for about 14 years. I, I joined 2017, December 2017. So it's almost 14 years. Great. Is there anything else you want to say before we close? I wish again, I wish uh, all the citizens uh, have a safe and healthy, uh, healthy life uh, under this you know, COVID situation. Well, thank you for your time this afternoon, Yaron. Um, and, and thank you. you. I want to thank everybody today for joining the mayor and the township committee to talk about our 2020 accomplishments and our 2021 goals. It's been a tough year, but as you heard, um, there were challenges, but we accomplished a lot. And we're looking forward to this year to be a very positive year. Thank you for joining us on I Am Plainsboro.